It may be right. your settings got reset somehow. All right, everybody see the title screen? Everybody in the party anyways? Yeah. Yep. All right, well, don't ruin the surprise, Mal. Jeez, come on, dude. That's the last gun we get to. We're going alphabetically, okay, dude? <laughs> so we won't know about the SMG-08 sure. till the end, all right? I want to see how uh, this is. So, okay. Uh, all right, it's... uh, All right. Battlefield 1, Top 10 Assault Weapons by Longermeyer. Oh, yep, we're going to do storybook mode here. All right. Top 10 anime betrayals. Yeah, yeah top 10 <laughs> anime betrayals. There you go. Here. <laughs> so first up, alphabetically, is the Annihilator Trench. Uh, so first, I've done it. I've broken down the, uh, the ranking into three different categories. Uh, the first is time to kill slash damage. Um... So point blank, the time to kill is 0.217 seconds, so about two, just not, just over two tenths of a second. Um, basically, much faster than anyone can react, uh, especially uh, if their ping is any is notable at all. Like if your ping is a hundred, then uh, basically that time to kill would seem instantaneous to you. Um, it is a BF1 PowerPoint oblomast, yes. Um, so then. Uh, <laughs> Good, good to see ya. Um, then the uh, it has a four hit kill under twelve meters. Um, so anything under twelve meters, you're getting close to that um, two hundred millisecond time to kill, roughly. Um, and it also has a higher damage under twelve meters. It has uh, thirty thirty damage point blank, uh, which allows for um, which which allows for um, if you hit headshots, um, it does about it does over. 50 damage with a headshot, so you can get a two-hit kill headshot in less than 100 milliseconds, um, or a three-hit a three hit kill with one headshot um, in 145 milliseconds. Um, I'm going to be playing Battlefield 1 in a little bit, uh, Mr. Axe. I'll probably play Ops, but we'll see. Um, so this ranking is sort of meant to encompass all game modes. Um, so you'll see, you'll see the, so this, this is the time to kill slash damage. Um, in terms of ease of use, that's sort of a conglomeration of factors, including like recoil, ammo capacity, um, and other, other, other stat characteristics of the gun. Um, then let's see. Uh, so ease of use, I have it set at six out of 10. Um, so time to kill is nine out of 10 for the Annihilator Trench. It's basically, it's one of the very fastest time to kill guns. Um, the only one faster is the machine and pistol, and uh, that's only 200. That's that's 200 milliseconds, so only 17 milliseconds faster, and uh, it's slower damage. So, uh, as far as the ease of use, I do six. I'd say six out of ten for the Annihilator. Um, I mean, the hip fire is really good. It does have a fast time to kill. Um, the damage at close range is pretty, makes it a bit more forgiving to of like arm shots. You can shoot them in the arm, and it'll still get kills. Um, it also, also the high rate of fire makes it relatively easy to use. Um, the cons, uh, obviously ammo capacity and ammo management, only 20 rounds in the magazine, super high recoil. Um, and there's just, dif it's difficult ammo management, uh, because of the reload. It's, it has a, about a three second reload when you leave a shot and it's a bit over three and a half seconds when you, if you empty it. Um, so you really have to leave one round in the magazine, and that's very hard to do when it's firing at that at that fire rate. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Jackaboy would like an invite, Gecko, if you wouldn't mind inviting him. That'd be great. Um, mm -hmm. So now versatility is the third factor. It's the third and final factor I'm considering on these. Um, versatility, I've meant to encompass both um, versatility at various ranges, but also versatility um, across different game modes. So it's meant to encompass, like, so in a 12v12 game mode, a TDM game mode, you, you just don't have as many enemies that you can encounter at a given time, and they're spread over a, fa a fairly large... I mean, the maps are small, but they're really about the size of a sector in operations, and that's a 32 on 32 game mode. So the density of players could, depending on where you're at and, like, the importance of the space, um, the density of players in operations can be three times as high. So... That's something you have to factor in for versatility. So, uh, vers the Annihilator, um, you know, ease of use, it, it suffers in ease of use and versatility. Um, it's great at close range. It's good at medium range if you burn the whole mag. You know, if you, you can hip fire, um, you can hip fire it 
pretty good at like 30 meters and probably kill one guy. But um, you're going to be hindered by that low ammo. Um, and it, yeah, it's useless at long range. Um, anything much over 30 meters, you're just not going to hit shots. Um, it's not ideal for large game modes like operations. You just don't have enough bullets to to kill a group of eight people. Um, you can kill, I mean, if you shoot perfectly, if you hit four shots, and then, I mean, I guess you can kill f up to five guys, but, uh, that's very difficult. Um, as far as, as far as where it gets extra marks in versatility, is that I think this gun is completely, uh, dominant in the 12v12 game modes. I think it's arguably the best gun, uh, is probably the meta gun for, uh, TDM domination, and, um... And, you know, any any of those small game modes for the assault class. Um, and espe especially on maps that favor a close-range playstyle. I think you can make an argument for some of the more accurate or more high-capacity guns on, like, longer range or more open maps in those 12v12 game modes. But across the vast majority of maps, this is one of the best, uh, this is one of the best assault guns you can pick for the smaller game modes. Um, so with that, I'm giving, you know, the, the combined score is 21 out of 30. And uh, that's going to place it at an A on the tier list. Um, so the way I conceptualize the tier list, there's a few things. Um, you know, the way I like to think of it, I think the S guns, you know, that's a gun that makes any player a better player if they're using it, right? Like, if, oh, I'm going to run Assault. Well, if you're using this gun, it's going to make everybody a better player is the idea, no matter, pretty much no matter what the situation is. A uh, A-tier gun is a gun that's like, meta in given game modes or given situations pretty often and uh, is normally a viable option in any game mode um or at most situations right so i think and i think if you're if you're a decent player and if you can get the if you can get the ammo management part down um i think the annihilator is a pretty good uh pretty good option um so i mean i don't know if you guys have questions or input in the party chat um i mean there's really like without seeing my other comparisons like to other guns there's really not much to offer um there's not really not much to offer do you guys have anything any thoughts so i was gonna say like um i'll go back to the previous screen to show you i'm gonna go back to the previous screen so you can see the breakdown and how i did that is this like a video or something oh, yeah, i'm so... just being quiet i didn't know what's happening yeah so for yeah the yeah i'm just i'm streaming right now so yeah if you pull up the stream i have a powerpoint going uh, when it comes to okay. when it comes to the annihilator, um, mm -hmm. I personally don't think like if you were like I'm gonna I'm like I'm gonna tell this like level one player you should try the annihilator. It's a really good gun. I think mm -hmm. it's they would not... fail with it pretty miserably because of the recoil. Just fucking it, it kicks like too a much. horse, so it's really hard to manage at first. Yeah, you've got to hip player. fire it. I think. I mean, it's one of my favorite guns to use, Mal. This is one of the guns I have a hundred stars with. I have ten thousand kills with this one. I, I do. I am like a fan. It's a um, Tommy gun. You always have to use hip fire on it. It's literally a Tommy gun. Yeah. It, is a it is a Tommy gun. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I. Well, I'm I'm going through the top ten Jackaboy uh, right now. Just the top ten assault guns that I think are top ten, or ones that I placed up there on the tier ranking. So I'll get, I'll add more to the tier ranking later, and maybe I'll re have to revise what I think the top ten are. Right, but I think it's got. I mean, just because of yeah, here. I mean, <laughs> Avlavast is uh. So I mean, all right, second second. I'm gonna go to second gun. Uh, Hell Regal Defensive, and this is not, they're not in order in terms of the ranking, I'm just going alphabetically. Um, so for time to kill and damage, uh, the time to kill is pretty, I mean, it's pretty fast, but it's honestly on the, on the, it's on the slightly slower end for SMGs on the Assault class. Um, point, it's 277 milliseconds, so you're, you're killing somebody about, um, it's a, it works out. It sounds funny to be talking fractions of a second, but you're talking like a twentieth, a twentieth of a second, like slower than the SMG08. It doesn't sound like much, but it's a lot. You know, like that's the difference between I, I choose to play on. I consistently choose to play in East Coast lobbies because I get better ping. But the difference, I get like 36 ping or 30 between 33 and like 40 ping on the East Coast lobbies, and I get between like maybe 55 and like 60 um ping on west coast depending on the day and uh 
that's that's a that's a that's a basically that's the difference we're talking about here right like we're talking about a difference where it's noticeable to me in game um and i think that i think that that fraction of a second um matters so that that it's got a slightly slower time to kill point blank um you'll notice a lot of these smgs have pretty similar uh four hit kill range it's all pretty much 12 meters is the four hit kill range on all of these things um but one thing to note is the damage is relatively low as well. Even though it does have a four hit kill, it just barely has a four hit kill, um, and so it uh, and so it has um, it it there's no there is no uh, there's no three hit kill. Even if you hit a headshot, it's still going to be a four hit kill. So that's one one factor to consider, which makes it slightly lower. It, not only is it uh, a slightly slower time to kill because of the slower fire rate. It also uh, it also has pretty relatively low damage. Um, all right, ease of use. Um, so for ease of use, I think uh, the Hell Regal Defensive in particular is um, uh, it takes some takes some bit of a takes a bit of a reduction because of the uh, because of the increased uh, increased re recoil. There's significantly higher recoil than the factory variant of this gun, as you'll see. We'll get to that later. But um, it does have extremely high ammo capacity. So it has 120 rounds in a mag. Um, the reload's actually the same as the Hell Regal factory. Um, it has a pretty high rate of fire. Um, it has a moderate t time to kill. It's very accurate when bipodded, um, and that makes it a good, decent medium range option. Um, the cons, uh, slightly slow. Uh, point blank time to kill, somewhat long reload compared to other assault guns, um, and which is uh, if you empty it, it's four and a half seconds. If you don't empty it, it's three point seven five. Um, and then there's a, uh, it's a very very high ro recoil when you're not when you're not using the bipod. Um, it, it also can overheat at forty rounds. So let's see here. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, Mtrax, the assault guns in particular. Um, t just ten, my top 10 assault guns, I suppose. Um, as far as versatility, um, again, I, I think the, the, high, the high ammo capacity really makes this a great option for the larger game modes. Um, it's decent at close range. The ammo capacity is great. It's a good medium range option. Um, good at long, decent at long range for an assault gun when bipodded. Um, obviously suffers from high recoil when you're moving around, though. I think it's I think it's a good choice for larger game modes with high traffic areas uh, when you're defending an objective. Um, it pairs all right with Juggernaut because you can use that bipod even with your gas mask on and still hip fire pretty accurately. Um, but uh, I think it's not the best choice for small game modes. I would choose several guns before I would choose the Hell Regal Defensive if I was going to go play TDM, especially if I was going to play it on a close in map um, because there's really like the extra like the 120 rounds. Like, it only takes four rounds to kill a person. You can literally freaking kill... If, you're point, if you get point blank with them, you can kill 30 people without reloading. Like, that's, that's the fucking number of bullets we're talking about. Like, you literally... If you fucking hit all your shots, you could get, you could get 30 kills in a TDM game without reloading the Hell Regal Defensive. Like, there's no, there's no point. You don't need that many, that many bullets. You don't want that many bullets, is, is what I'm answering. It's not, it's not worth the trade-offs here. Uh, you want you want more accuracy and a faster time to kill. Uh, so moving on from there, uh, the total. The, so the cumulative score is uh, twenty out of thirty for the Hell Regal Defensive, and I place that at a B. Um, I think I think B guns in general um, are going to be usable in most game modes and in most situations, um, and and at minimum they're arguably the best gun for particular game modes in particular situations, right? Um, oh, this is just the ranking. Like it's a tier list. Uh, Oblomast. It's just a way of ranking. It's a it's a way of grading guns with S being the highest and F being the lowest. Uh, what's up, Kiki? Here. All right, we're moving to Hell Regal Factory. Um, Hell Regal so, Defensive shouldn't even be up there. Uh. I, I've done variants because, at least with the defensive, it's significantly different than the factory. But yeah, you have a good argument if you're talking about SMGOA factory versus optical. Because um, they're not that different. 
Um, so time to kill or damage, it's similar. To the, most of these are similar to the Hellreal Defensive. The, the one place where I've made an adjustment is under Ease of Use. Um, and I've, I think I've taken, I think I took off a mark for, I'll have to look, I should have, I, I may have taken off a mark for versatility. Um, oh, no, I think I left it on. on Alright, good, good night, Gecko. Good, good, uh, good talk to you, man. Um, See ya. Yeah, putting you to sleep, that's good. Uh, so there's a uh, pretty high ammo capacity, 60 rounds, obviously slower than the Hellreal Defensive, but um, it's much more accurate than the Hellreal Defensive, and uh, it's surprisingly usable at at medium range. I think um, I think that the as far as uh, versatility, yeah, I mean it's good at close range, has a high has a relatively high ammo capacity. Um, it's decent at medium range for an assault gun. Um, it's it's also a pretty good choice for small game modes when 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 they favor more of a medium range engagement. Like if you're gonna play assault on like a Saint Quentin Scar um, on a TDM, or you're gonna play assault um, honestly in any of the more open, even in operations in a more open game mode, um, I think it's pretty good. Um, to it's a pretty good option. Um, so that brings it in uh, at the at the A tier. Um, I don't think there's you know I, I don't think there's any argument that it's hey in a close in map in TDM uh, you're gonna pick the Hell Regal over the Annihilator. I think the Annihilator wins that and is meta there. Um, I think the Hell Regal is meta on certain maps in probably the small game modes and the large game modes and is more a more balanced option. Um, oh, gotcha, gotcha, AKT. S or above, Kiki? You're talking about the Hell Regal? I don't know, man. Well, let's get through the whole list and see what you think when they're ranked relative to each other. Uh, oh, wow. My freaking face covers up the uh, covers up the gun icon. Damn it. Well, that's a pain, isn't it? Mm, I'll just make my face a bit smaller. Sorry, guys. I had the whole little... You're missing part of the graphic. That's sad. Uh, okay. Thank you, thank you. Sure, sure, AKT. Uh, so, the trench gun backboard... Um, uh, yeah, Jacoboy, it's the, it's the recoil. Um, the, the Hell Regal Defensive has a lot more recoil, um, and so it's, it's difficult to put shots on target at, uh, at medium range if you're moving. Uh, I think I think when you're defending a map in operations or something like that, or you're defending a particular choke point, I think there's an argument for the Hell Regal defensive. Or if you really need a bunch of bullets, but um, are you guys still in the part there in the party? By the way, yeah, I'm here. I'm just oh, good. Sorry, no, you're all good. You're all good. You're all good. Yeah, yeah. Stuff till the end. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, you, we can go through the guns, or maybe when the tier list happens. Um, so let's see. Um. Yeah, I think I think Jackaboy like the the versatility like as assault you're not sitting still that often like the class is a very kinetic class and so I think the Hell Regal defensive it does have strengths but those strengths are more niche than the factory in my opinion like I think the factory um, just has higher versatility and uh, and is easier to use as well because of the reduced recoil um, so with the backboard. Um, you know, I, I was I was on the fence on whether to put this one um, in in my top ten um, or to consider it, but ultimately three shotguns make my top ten uh, tier list here. Um, the time to kill and damage it it hits eight out of ten, um, and when when TTK is the stat, it's a shotgun. Uh, you'd say you know you should be thinking, wait, how is that not a ten out of ten? You know what I mean? Like, it's an insta-kill, point-blank, and your assault. Like, that's where you're trying to get is point-blank. But, um, it's, uh, the, the reasoning is that it's, uh, it, it, some of that, some of that ranking is relative to other shotguns, right? And also, you have to keep in mind that with the Annihilator Trench already, in, in the fast SMGs, you're talking about 200, roughly 200 milliseconds of the time to kill, and, uh, you can test your human, like, test human reaction time, like, if you have, like, a Switch or, like, a Wii or something, they have those, like, quick draw games or, like, quick shot games, uh, you can't, you can't pull a trigger, 
like it, e even a f test on your phone or something um i mean i challenge you to to really train your train yourself on that and if you're if you're good at video games and you really fucking test yourself um and you practice at it maybe you can get your reaction time to like around a tenth of a second but um between the tenth of a second and then what you're already dealing with with ping and any input lag or like lag created by your hardware um 200 milliseconds is instantaneous if somebody gets the drop on you point blank with the annihilator you are not going to turn around and kill them like it, it, I, I i'm not going to turn around and kill. no one's going to turn around and kill them basically right like if, if if the first time you find out someone with a submachine gun is shooting you is when the damage indicator happens you're you're already dead you just don't know it yet you know what i mean like you, you by the time by the time you realize you're being shot you're already dead um so i mean i think it's a little overstated like the advantage that shotguns can provide, but they are good um, point blank. And uh, this one in particular, um, I would say the one hit kill at 14 meters is, is decent. Um, it has a one hit kill with 10 shots point blank, um, and it has a, uh, a pretty dense bullet grouping, so it allows you to hit shots pretty far out. Um, I chose this one over the um, Hunter, because even though the Hunter hat does slightly more damage, um, the backboard is easier to use because there's reduced recoil comparatively. Um, so it's got a fast rate, very fast rate of fire for a shotgun. Um, it does pretty good damage close up. Um, has pretty good ammo capacity with five five shots in the magazine. Um, it's accurate for a shotgun. Um, buckshot has no mul no no bullet multiplier. And you'll see that fact in both the pro and the con. Because if you hit an arm or a leg with buckshot in Battlefield 1, um, it does exactly... There's no bullet multiplier applied at all. It's one, it's one, it does exactly the same amount of damage, whether you hit them in the face or whether you hit them in the arm. Um, so that, that means that that's, it, it basically it nerfs, it nerfs headshots and it, and it buffs shots to the extremities, right? Um, it also has a... Like, a very fast rate of fire for a shotgun, 138. I think the Shorgan or whatever is faster, um, but just not, not by a whole lot. Um, it can slam fire, meaning you can hold down the trigger and fire um, off the whole mag. But, um, but I think that it's... Uh, you normally don't want to do that, because the whole advantage is that you're taking your time, you're trying to get deal as much damage as you can per shot. Um, and, uh, and yeah, it has decreased recoil over the... Uh, over the hunter variant and the factory variant, and I've uh, in, in using both variants somewhat some, uh, I think that the decreased recoil really helps you put the second shot on target. And the whole reason you want that faster fire rate is because you're good. You might need to take a second shot, um, and I I don't see um, I don't I don't see much advantage in opting for this over an option like the 10A Hunter or the 10A Slug. Like I don't know why you would pick this unless um, you need the ability to take the second shot, and so I think the, redu the reduced uh, recoil is helpful um, for that for that fact. Um, this is uh, this is like I, I didn't put the Hellfighter on this list, Jackaboy, but the, the, this you could basically I mean they're basically interchangeable, um, so you can take it as the as the Hellfighter being here. Um, another thing to note is that Buckshot doesn't penetrate scenery, and it doesn't penetrate multiple enemy players. So if you hit an enemy with it, 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 no one behind that enemy can get shot by the bullet. Most in Battlefield One, most bullets can travel infinitely through enemy players and kill multiple people, but um, Buckshot doesn't do that. Um, probably for balance reasons, right? Like if you were shooting at a hallway and you just emptied the 12 gauge, you know, extended or something into a hallway, you could, would just kill everybody if if those BBs could travel through everybody. Um, Buckshot also just doesn't have that much kind of penetration power right. in life, anyways. Exactly, exactly. Um, so, uh, again, yeah, there's also the fact that it doesn't... So, yeah, that's why... Also, the Buckshot, it doesn't have a bullet multiplier, so you can't, you can't get headshots with it, or the headshots don't do extra damage anyways. Um, the Slam Fire makes it less accurate. It kind of destroys the accuracy that you get with the backboard. Um, and there's also a lower magazine capacity compared to other shotguns. Like, a five-round mag is not... Is, I mean... Not not ideal. Um, as far as versatility, um, I give it a four out of ten for versatility. I think that's one of the lower versatility rankings I give on the tier list here. Um, it's very good at point blank range. 
It does have low re re low recoil compared to other shotguns. It has a fast fire rate, so you can recover quickly if you miss. Um, you're, this is a gun you're likely to get a second shot at shot with. It does have a one hit kill that's pretty sig goes out pretty significantly in terms of range. Um, I'd say that it's uh, it's decent in large game modes, but yeah, the five round mag can be challenging in dense areas, especially given the fire rate and the fact that it can slam fire. You can panic when you're trying to take that second shot. And you can't panic because you only have five shots. So if you come into a bunker or a pillbox and there's three or four enemies in there, you're, you're probably going to die if, uh, if you mess up. Um, we've been through two guns, but I haven't placed it in the ranking yet, Aaron. Um, or on the tier list. I'm doing a tier list. I'm not doing like an actual 1 through 10 ranking. Um, so I, I think it's great in small game modes, but uh, only on maps or terrain which favor close range en engagements. So I think it's a little niche. I think it's a little niche in both large game modes and in and in small game modes. Um, and it's obviously useless at range. Like it's useless at long range. It's probably one of the worst shotguns for long range. Um, not. I, I shouldn't say one of the worst. It's 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 barely in the top half for long range in terms of like buck even even among buckshot shotguns. It's not a long range gun. Um, so the uh, the total score here is eighteen out of thirty. Which I put it in C. I mean, I think I think that it's it's arguably good, like I said, on like a TDM, especially in close in maps. And I think it's uh, I think it's pretty good in rushing a hard point in like operations, or if you if you just need an assault that can get up close, um, I think it's decent. But uh, yeah, the versatility just isn't there, and uh, you have to be really conscientious about not wasting those five shots. So. Moving on, uh, M1917 Trench Carbine. This is possibly my favorite. Uh, this is possibly my favorite gun um, for time to kill slash damage. Though I did have to give it significant uh, a significant discount on the uh, on the TTK slash damage. Um, I didn't discount it as much as you would think, though. And you know, it's five out of ten. And even though it's, I think it's the slowest time to kill. Uh, hey, cheesecake. Uh, it's a PowerPoint presentation. Cheesecake. Um, I'm a uh, doing a tier list for the battlefield one gun the battlefield one assault guns or 10 of the best assault guns uh ooh, aaron class uh we'll have to talk about that one uh we'll get there i think um so okay uh, well kind of aaron class uh so okay the time to kill is uh it's i rank it five out of ten on this criteria um the time to kill is one of the slowest actual numbers we're going to go through but um the but it does do relatively high damage, um, and it has a it has a three hit kill at twelve meters. Um, so the individual shots do do quite a bit of damage, and it does have a two hit kill headshot if you hit if you hit both if you hit both heads you have to hit both headshots. It does just barely over fifty damage with a headshot. Um, in terms of ease of use, though, um, this is one of the higher ranking guns in this in this categories. Uh, it has a great hip fire, really high ammo capacity really high accuracy, really fast reload, um, and it's, uh, it's a really good at, at long range for an assault gun. Like, among assault guns, it's got to be top two or three that you would use. Um, so I, I, think it's, I, think it's, I think it's great on, on ease of use. Uh, cons, yeah, the sluggish time to kill, the, uh, fast, the fast damage drop-off, but all, all submachine guns share that characteristic. All of them have a significant bullet drop-off past about 30 meters. Um, and then, uh, and then it's, yeah, it's semi-auto. That's the only other thing that I think dents it on ease of use, is that a lot of players have trouble clicking it, clicking their, you know, you just can't, if you're firing off 40 rounds, it's just hard to click that as fast as you can fire an automatic weapon. So you lose some of, uh, yeah, 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 I will. Thank you. Thank you, Aaron. Um, you need to, uh, you really need to click fast. I don't know, man. Like, so it takes a hit there because you can't possibly fire it at its maximum rate 100% of the time. Um, for versatility, um, it's, very, it's very low recoil, high accuracy, um, high ammo capacity, um, and that, that makes up some, somewhat for the uh, slow time to kill. Um, it's ex excellent at long range. It's uh, great in large game modes because it does have that high ammo capacity, and uh, you can clear. You know, if you 
if you get a good flank with this thing, you can kill just as many people as you can with the SMG-08 or with the Hell Regal. Um, it's, uh, yeah, Cheesecake, I'm going to make a YouTube video out of it, too. I just wanted to do it on stream first so I could get feedback and stuff. Um, I may use this as uh, as as part of the YouTube video, um, or, or I may redo it. I may represent the same PowerPoint information, maybe with some revisions. Um, yeah, not if you have a Cronus. That's true, Dut. If you have a Cronus, then uh, then yeah, you don't have to click that fast. But I mean, for what it's for what it's worth, uh, for what it's worth, Dut. I, I mean, I've I've tested myself on uh, I've tested myself with the uh, uh, machine and pistol experimental versus the machine and pistol storm, and I'm able to click. I mean, I have trigger locks on my controller, and I have a good controller, and I have my settings optimized. But if you have all that, you can click. You can empty a mag at like. 95 percent of what full auto would do on the same gun so like there's really not i mean it, it's yeah cronus like can make it click as fast as it possibly humanly could but like a good player can get to 95 percent or even higher of of that capacity so i i don't think i don't think that uh i mean yes it's cheating you shouldn't no one should use cronus but as far as like consequences for average players, like that's not game breaking if that guy can like get his semi auto shots off maybe five percent faster than you. You know what I mean? Like I, I it could be the margin in like one in three hundred engagements you're fight you know what I mean? Like in some small percentage of gunfights that's gonna matter, but it's uh would be few and far between. Um as far as other versatility, yeah, the the long range, uh the high ammo capacity makes it good. Uh, pr pretty good in the larger game modes um, and it's decent in small game modes but only where you need a long range or a medium range uh, medium range uh, medium range assault gun uh, do a tier list of players that don't have thumbs I think everybody has thumbs Aaron right uh, so yeah overall score of 20 out of 30 so I placed it I placed it in the B list I mean it is one of my favorites it is a gun I have 100 stars with um, but I think you have to admit that it's, uh, it's kind of a niche gun and the slow time to kill, um, can be, can be disappointing, uh, when you're, when you get into point blank fights with it. Um, I think it can, I think it does, I think it does consistently surprise people how fast that time to kill feels, but it's definitively slower than most of the other assault guns though. Um, yeah, 20, tw it gets an overall score of 20 out of 30. So the machine and pistol storm, uh, another one that I was sort of on the fence about it even making the list here. Um, I don't think it's a I don't think it's a bad gun, but I think it's more of a niche contender. Um, the really, Aaron, I didn't know that. That's awesome, dude. Well, not awesome that you're missing your thumbs and arms, but awesome that you play Battlefield One, dude. Like, absolutely, I would do a tier list. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it. I, I that came off wrong, Aaron. Uh, I think it's just a ploy to get you to play with your feet. Play with my feet. I'm not going to play with my feet, dude. It could be a feet ploy. It could be a they feet ploy. Feet video, yeah, dude. they want the feet. Uh, here, okay. So, machine and pistol storm. Um, the time to kill. I, I did eight out of ten on this category because yeah, 200 milliseconds point blank. It's faster than the annihilator. Um. But uh, let's see, uh, four hit kill at 12 meters, 26.5 damage. Um, so the 26.5 damage is similar to the Hell Regal, unfortunately, which means a headshot doesn't help you. So I think I, for the Annihilator, I think I even gave it, I'd have to go back and look, but um, I, I'd have to look. I, I don't know whether I gave the Annihilator. Let me see if I can see that. Uh, slide sorter. Uh yeah, I give the Annihilator a 9 at, on the time to kill slash damage category. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. We're just going to go back to... Uh, from current slide. Sorry, clicking back through. Mm -hmm. So the um, the machine and pistol, it actually gets a lower, even though it has a faster point blank time to kill, um, I give it a lower ranking on this category compared to the Annihilator. 
And the reason for that is there is no, um, it's lower damage. You can do 90 damage faster with the Annihilator. Um, and a lot of times people aren't at full health, right? So that, that, sh that damage per shot does matter. Um, the, uh, it does ha it has a, uh, four hit kill at 12 meters for this gun and 26.5 damage, but you get no benefit from a headshot. Whereas the Annihilator, if you get two headshots, that guy's dead. And that's super fast with the Annihilator. Um, even with three hits, it's blazing fast and faster than this. If you get one headshot out of three, um, ease of use four out of 10. Uh, yeah, the rate of fire is very fast. It has a fast time to kill, but the cons obviously small magazine and uh, a super long reload. Um, for versatility, um, it gets a 4 out of 10. Uh, very fast time to kill point blank. Suffers greatly from low ammo capacity. Uh, it suffers in large game modes due to the low ammo capacity. It has high recoil, low accuracy. Um, decent in small game modes, but only on maps or terrain which favor close range engagements. Uh, scores 16 out of 30 cumulatively. Puts it at a D ranking. I think it's arguably okay on certain TDM maps or other small game modes, but um, I don't think it's going to be a top-tier uh, operations gun or conquest gun um, for most players. Um, all right, guys, I'm going to use the bathroom real quick. One minute. I'm going to do a quick ad break while I do that, but uh, we'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, Ben. Yeah, what's up? I actually got to go to bed. I got morning shift, and I did not realize right. the time. <laughs> Have a good night, okay, though. Sure, Have a good one, honey. They always ask. They always want the bathroom stream. I know. Someday. Um, okay. Here we go. Uh, you guys still there with us on the party chat? Honey actually had to go to bed. He had a fucking morning shift. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, damn. It went, it went longer. The, and this is, this is going longer than I thought it would. But here we go. All right. Um, next one. So, yeah, machine and pistol. Uh, 10A Hunter. So, this is another one of the shotguns that makes the list. No, you're good, Rip Tunny. Uh, thanks for hanging out, man. Um, yeah, obviously instant time to kill, uh, point blank. Uh, one hit, it can one hit kill at up to 18 meters. Um, and, uh, it'll one hit kill with eight shots. Each, each shotgun has, it fires 12, um, 12 buckshot, whatever shot, I guess you'd say. Um, and, uh, those come out in roughly like a circle shape, you know, um, and travel in like basically a cone. But um, you only have to hit with eight of those with the 10A Hunter point blank. And uh, the damage drop off doesn't start until pretty far out. Um, if you hit with all 12 shots, it will one hit kill at 18 meters, which is a wild, um, it's a wild uh, time. It's a wild time to kill. Um, and it's a super high damage for a shotgun. Um, it also has a pretty dense grouping. 
So it sometimes is possible to hit that grouping on a on a 18 meter shot or close to 18 meter shot if you hit the chest if they're standing where their arms and legs are exposed and you aim for the chest um you can want to hit kill at that range or close to that range um it, it's possible it, now and even if you don't um if you're point blank uh you 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 can almost wing them right you only have to hit with about two-thirds of the shots like it, it and it can be to the extremities too you can you can shoot at their legs um, any part of their body that's exposed and have a fair chance of getting a kill because the buckshot uh, doesn't, again, doesn't have a bullet multiplier. There's no penalty for aiming at the arms or legs um, compared to other guns. So, um, ease of use. I set it at six, to t 6 out of 10 on this category. Um, the pros are high damage, nearly instant time to kill. Um, six round magazine is nice and is very forgiving, especially given the slow fire rate. Um, the buckshot, uh, bullet mechanic, like I said, buffs are hits to the arms and legs, uh, cons, uh, slow rate of fire compared to other shotguns, um, in other options. And, uh, again, the buckshot doesn't penetrate scenery or multiple enemy players. Um, and it has no, no bullet multiplier. So it nerfs kind of nerfs headshots, relatively speaking. So it suffers somewhat from the ease of use because of the low rate of fire. Um, Uh, for versatility, um, it, it gets a six out of ten. It scores moderate marks on the uh, moderate marks on the versatility category. Um, it has a um, instant time to kill. High, the advantage is basically an instant time to kill, high damage, and dense shot grouping. It makes it a dominant gun at close range. Um, it has high damage in, in a dense grouping, making it somewhat useful at medium range. I would say surprisingly useful at medium range. That uh, two-hit kill range, I'd have to look at the exact numbers on it um, and as far as what you can actually achieve. But uh, the center shots and the grouping stay pretty close together. I, I forget if it's... I'd, I've looked at like, graphs that break this down, but like I'm pretty sure it's the center. I think there's four shots in that center grouping, but uh, that center grouping stays pretty, pretty centered, um, pretty far out. So you can you can deal significant damage with this even even in like the twenty five ish meter range, um, so it's more useful than you would think at medium range. Um, I think it's a decent pick in large game modes because of that versatility um, and because of that six round magazine. Uh, it's it's one more than the uh, than the trench than the uh, the M ninety seven which we already went over. Um, and I think it's great. It's actually a great gun in small game modes in TDM, especially close in maps or maps that favor close range engagements. Um, I think the 10A Hunter is an excellent choice. Um, I put it at A tier, which I think is controversial for any shotgun to make the A tier. Um, so I think there's definitely room for criticism on that. And, uh, arguably, arguably it should be closer, but, um, I, I think it's an easy pretty easy gun to use it's pretty forgiving and uh you can instantly kill six people you know one person after another kill six people with it um the 10a slug uh follow immediately following the hunter oh man i have the wrong icon there well we'll fix that i'll have to fix that in post uh all right the time time to kill damage again 10 out of 10 um there's a slight trade-off with that when you use the slug the main difference is obviously a slug only one hits ki one hit kills out to 11 meters, um, but it has a one hit kill headshot up to 50 meters because the same bullet multiplier that applies to scout rifles applies to slug shotguns. So it has a um, like like scout rifles, it has a 1.8 times bullet multiplier for headshots, um, and it has uh, it has lower damage to the uh, to the lower body and the upper arms. Uh, so lower body, upper arms is 0.9, and then shots to legs and forearms is 0.75. So, um, yeah, I, I think AKT. I see your point on. I see what you're saying on the hunter, but um, in terms of like considering those rankings, like A tier, I think it's um, if you say you're like this ranking is already based on the idea that you're all you're playing assault. Like you already know for sure you're playing assault. If you're gonna play assault what's the best gun in a given like map or situation and like i think if you're playing like tdm on amion or argon forest or any of that um 
man, I think I think the ten A hunter is is arguably meta, right? Like I think it's I think it's arguably meta on any of the close in smaller game modes, and it's at least decent in uh, it's at least decent in um in operations. Um, so I mean I I, I see. Uh, what's that AKT? Sorry. Oh, give the slug a BRSC. Oh, okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, so okay. Uh, the hunter is an S. Okay, okay. Um, well, the the reason I uh, so it has the one hit kill headshot up to fifty meters. So even though um, it's less forgiving on where you can hit somebody, like you you can't hit the lower body or the kills or or the legs and arms. Um, it 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 you you still have significant damage and you have the opportunity to hit a headshot very far out um and it has a two hit kill out to 55 meters even if you're just hitting them anywhere in the body um so in term or if you're hitting them in the chest i should say if you're hitting center body mass uh okay yes drew nelson that's where that's where it suffers that's exactly right i mean the 10a uh the 10a slug uh it has a pretty slow bullet velocity too so even though it's pretty it's accurate enough to hit at like 55 meters um the low bullet velocity makes it pretty hard to do that and you have to hit twice so if you've ever fired it's basically like having to hit them twice with the martini henry i mean it fires faster than the martini henry but uh yeah ex ex yeah that's that's about right cheesecake um as far as ease of use yeah it's it's high damage instant t time to kill up to 11 meters Six round magazine, one hit headshot out to 50 meters. Um, it has slug bullet mechanics, meaning that it has a headshot multiplier. Um, the cons, slow rate of fire, um, same as the hunter. Uh, shots to extremities deal reduced damage. One hit kill only goes out to 11 meters. So those are the ease of use cons and why, why it gets down, marked down for that category. Um, but in terms of versatility, I mean, I don't think there's, um, I don't think there's much argument that, uh, I, I think that uh, versatility, I mean, you've still got the instant time to kill close up. It has high damage. Um, it's, it's great at close range still. Um, if you can, spe you can spear, because it's a slug, it can spear through multiple enemies. If you hit two dudes, if you hit a dude in the chest, it'll go through him and into the next guy. Um, you can potentially get, um, you can, I, I've killed three people in an alleyway before shooting all three of them straight through the chest. I'll, it'll never happen again, but they lined up in like a fucking single file line for me. Um, that, that can, that can happen. You can walk into a, a hallway and deal 300 enemy damage. Sometimes you're hitting the leg of one of the guys or something and not killing them in one hit. But, um, oh, I, I made, I made these, um, I made them, um, let's see with the help of PowerPoint, Bill Gates um let's see yeah so versatility i mean the two hit kill makes it definitely the best i think i think probably or at least arguably the best assault gun at medium and long range um it's a decent pick in large game modes because of that versatility and because of the six round magazine um and i also think it's great in small game modes um that gives it a combined score of 22 out of 30 and I, I put it as well. I also put that one in A tier. Um, all right. SMG08 Factory. Uh, yeah. 234 millisecond time to kill point blank. Uh, nearly as fast as the Annihilator. Um, it has a four hit kill at 12 meters, like most of the uh, SMGs. It does, uh, but, but it does have increased damage. It does 28 damage. The Annihilator does 30. But um, that's really a rounding error, and it does have a <laughs> rounding error in that like the extra damage from the annihilator doesn't really matter the vast majority of the time um, compared to you know 28 versus 30 because a three hit kill um, it still gets a three hit kill if you get a headshot. Um, I've done done the math on that. Um, in terms of ease of use, I give it eight out of ten. Um, it uh, it has high ammo capacity. Has a high rate of fire, fast time to kill, good hip fire, uh, very fast ADS on the, or fast ADS on the factory, like all factory uh, submachine guns. Um, cons, it it overheats quickly at 30 rounds, um, which gives it a slight mark down on ease of use. Uh, it has high recoil. It has a pretty significant damage drop off, as all SMGs do, and it has a long reload. Um, this is actually one category where. 
Um, there, there aren't many guns that I put uh, higher on pretty much any category for the assault class in the SMG08. But uh, ease of use, I think I think I gave the Hell Regal and uh, the Hell Regal Factory a nine, and I think I'd defend that at least in that category. Um, I think the Hell Regal Factory is easier to use and easier to learn um, compared than the SMG08 Factory, um, and I think it's more easy to be consistent with the Hell Regal Factory because of the slightly slower fire rate. Actually, helps you place shots a lot of the times, and it also has slower. Uh, it also has reduced like lower recoil. Um, uh, I'll, I'll get into that. I'll get into that, um, AKT. Um, so I actually think no. Well, I guess what I'm saying is, uh, I think it. Um, I think ease of use. I think the SMG08 is. I think it's harder to use than the S than the Hell Regal, but obviously it's more overpowered. Like in terms of time to kill and damage, it's much better. Um, and in terms of uh, most of these other criteria, uh, the SMG08 is definitively superior to the Hell Regal. Um, in terms of versatility, I gave it 7 out of 10, um, and I want to explain that somewhat, because obviously it's not very good at medium range or long range, right? Um, but one, it has high ammo capacity, fast time to kill, high damage, um, makes it a great choice at close range, especially in uh, especially in den when there's densely packed enemies. Um, with, with tap firing it, you can increase your accuracy a bit at medium range. Um, and you can, uh, and the, the high ammo capacity also helps you at medium range because at minimum you can suppress the enemy and keep them from shooting back very effectively. Um, and, uh, it, it, it's, it's, that makes it somewhat useful at medium range, but mostly if you're going to pile on and help, help allies that are also shooting at somebody, or if you're going to, um, if you're going to just suppress, hope to suppress enemies essentially, um, in a situation where you have to, like where they got you out in the open and start shooting at you first um uh but yeah pretty much useless at long range um i'd say it's pretty dominant in large game modes especially um in densely especially when you're talking about clearing out buildings or any kind of close-in work that you want your assault players doing um it's also great pretty great in small game modes because it has the fast time to kill and high damage um i think it um, so in terms of criteria or places where it's not as good as other assault guns, I think that it's, uh, I think it's good or great in those small game modes, but I think that the, I think that the Annihilator Trench and probably both of the shotguns, uh, would, are, are better in, uh, are better in TDM and that the 10A Slug is better in, uh, is better in long, obviously any long range situation. Um, the Hell Regal's probably better in any long range situation. Um, but but yeah, as far as across different game modes, uh, it definitely has high versatility. Like it's very useful whether you're playing EDM or Domination, Operations, Conquest. This is this is not a bad choice for assault anywhere. Um, and that's uh, so that's why it gets a total score of twenty four out of thirty, and uh, why I place it S tier. Um, I think fairly predictably. Um, as far as the SMG-08 optical, that's our 10th gun, alphabetically, um, that we're going to go through. I was going through 10 today. Um, the time to kill, um, it, this, again, 9 out of 10, same thing. Um, ease of use, it gets basically the same, uh, it gets essentially the same rankings on everything. Um, it did take one, I took one point off on ease of use, uh, because the fact, I think the factory... Uh, th there are minor differences in how bullet spread works and uh, like recovering from uh, like recovering from previous uh, it's it's weird but like the way it recovers from the way the gun recovers from recoil and uh, the spread multiplier is a slightly different between the SMG8 factory and the SMG8 optical but I don't think those differences are that notable or that important in terms of how the gun's used. I think the only really important difference between the SMG-08 factory and the SMG-08 optical is the, is the sight. And optical sights in Battlefield 1, um, the ADS is slightly slower. So the ADS on the factory, uh, on, the, on the SMG-08 factory, takes about 0.2 seconds. Um, and on the SMG-08 optical or any optical sight, it's roughly like 0.33 seconds, something like that. Um, so the factory has a clear edge in a situation where you're going to ADS. Now you won't notice that difference very much, um, or at all really, if you're somebody who, who hip fires a lot, um, if you're somebody who runs juggernaut pretty consistently, 
then um, you won't really notice much of a difference between the two guns. But if you're somebody who um, ADSs in most engagements, um, especially if you're using that the snap auto aim that the game gives you on console, um, then that ADS difference can matter a bit. Um, and so I think that the uh, ease of use, uh, it's fair to give the SMG-8 optical a slight, not a slight markdown on that. Um, yeah, so that gives it, that gives it, that puts it also S tier, but um, one point lower, and I think arguably getting close to, um, getting somewhat close to some of the A tier guns. So I, I think, I think with this arrangement, like I think what you see here is. Um, I think the machine and pistol starting at D, uh, it's 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 on this list because it has the fastest time to kill of any submachine gun, right? Like that's why it's here. It's it, you can't really um, disregard it when it basically wins one of those categories. Um, the the trench gun backboard is on here because yeah, it gives you that fast second shot and it does have a significant. Like uh, it has a one-hit kill out to a pretty significant range, but um, I think the the trench gun backboard is probably good. It's probably good in like denser, in like tighter end TDM maps, um, and the machine and pistol is at least usable in tighter end TDM maps or any small game mode. But um, I don't think it's going to make most players better. I think you have to be a pretty skilled player to use those weapons effectively. And yes, you can use them effectively in certain game modes in certain situations, but um, there's just other guns will be easier to use and in general will make even a better player better, right? So I, I think that both of those guns, um, I think that you could, you could put them in the, con you could put one or the other in a conversation for like one tier up from where I have them, but um, I think those are pretty definitively uh, on the lower end of these 10 guns. Um, the Hellregal Defensive and the Trench Carbine, in terms of justifying a B rank, I mean, I think that B to me means that uh, they're like at least a good choice in most uh, most game modes and in most situations. Um, I, I think that the Hellregal Defensive, it's the 120 rounds is really nice in operations, um, and it's really nice when you're when you're defending, if in in particular when you're defending uh, an objective. Um, or if you're defending a like a choke point, um, it's really nice that you can bipod and it gets high accuracy when you're bipoded, but it's kind of inconsistent with the goals of the assault class most of the time. Most of the time you're running and gunning. Um, so you can't really... Um, it's hard to justify the Hellreal Defensive getting an A tier ranking. Um, I think it's too niche. Like it's too niche. Like there are situations where you want the bipod, but um, other than that, the high recoil really costs it. It has, if you look at the recoil stats on the Hellregal Defensive, um, it's as bad as the SMG-08 on recoil, but then it doesn't have the redeeming qualities of having a super fast time to kill. Um, and it also has an optical sight, so it has the slower, it has the slower ADS of the SMG-08 optical. Um, and it also has the high, S it has an SMG-08 like recoil, but then it has the deficient time to kill of the Hell Regal, right? So it, it's the it's the worst of it. Ha it's basically the worst of the SMG-08 opticals problems, and also the worst of the Hell Regal's problems, right? Like all the Hell Regal factories problems. Um, and the only thing it gets in return, as far as being different, is like a bipod, which is too niche to be super useful. Um, the trench carbine, yeah, um, it, it's decent at medium range, Drew. Um, the issue is that at um, at past like thirty three meters, it, it is it is obviously like the comparison here is among assault guns, right? So I, I it, it is the most one of the most versatile assault guns. Like it's at least usable or useful at long range. But um, at past thirty three meters, though, it's seven shots to kill with that thing. And it takes you almost a second to fire. It takes you almost a full second to fire um, seven rounds with it. Um, even if you're pulling the trigger perfectly and you're hitting every shot, right? Now you can deal a lot of suppression and it does have a high ammo capacity. So it is useful at long range and every now and then you'll you'll beat a scout at like 50 meters or something. But really the, uh, the, the useful range of that trench carbine, you still want to hit people between like, you want them to be between. I, I would say having used the gun, I, I have 100 stars with that gun. Um, so I have over 10,000 kills with it, um, and I'd say like the ideal range with it 
is probably between about 10 meters and like 20 meters, maybe 25 meters. But um, yeah, it does. It still gets good marks for versatility because it's still pretty good up close and it's pretty good far out. Got crazy good ammo capacity. Um, and yeah, I, I don't think the only other one that's maybe better, the, the 10A slug is, is better at long range probably. Um, but other, other than that, um, other than picking a slug shotgun, I don't think there's anything as good at long range, and there's very few assault guns that have that versatility. So, uh, I, these are all the guns. Just to be clear, these are these are all the guns that I have today. These are the, these are my top ten, I think. Um, yeah, I mean, I think the, I, the automatico probably should be up here. Cheesecake, that's one that that got kind of left out in the cold. Um, I, I know that the slug, the 1900, uh, I, I, I want to, I want to add more slides. I'll be adding more slides, but, um, I'll, I'll be adding, um, these are just the 10 that I picked off the list when I was picking them. There's omissions here that, I mean, the Automatico Trench probably is better than the Machine and Pistol, in my opinion. Um, the MP18 is not bad either. Uh, yeah, I, I just, I just think that there's, um... There's nothing about the Automatico that makes me, um, everything the Automatico does, there's some other gun on here that does it better, you know? There's, there's, it's not, it's, it's, it's okay at medium range, but, um, the time to but kill is not. that it's worse than the machine and pistol? Uh, the time to kill, point blank, it, the machine and pistol's faster, right? Like, that's a lot faster. Not, not a, not a whole, whole lot, but, like, quite a bit faster. And because um, the automatic goes a five hit kill point blank. So it, if it had a four hit kill, then um, then it would be notable and, and would be good. But um, with the five, I mean, the only thing it has going for it is that um, at like the say, uh, I think it's like 13 meters to like 20 ish meters um, where the SMG 08 and the machine and pistol and the Annihilator, those all become a five-hit kill at those ranges. Um, at those ranges, then, the Automatico uh, has a faster time to kill because it's still a five-hit kill at those ranges. Um, so there's, like, a narrow band where it does have a fast time to kill. Um, yeah, no one uses it, right? I, I, think, it's, I think it's a D. Um, there's really no... The reload is just so atrocious, right? Um... I'm trying to think here. Uh, yeah, but, so the Automatico probably is better than the Machine and Pistol. Um, it might be better than the M97 backboard. Um, but but it's just it's just kind of it's kind of situational cheesecake. And there's not like I just don't feel like there's um, I don't feel like there's a game mode. Um, I don't feel like there's a game mode or a map or anything where I would say, yes, the Automatico is significantly better than, um, is a better option than the Annihilator, um, or is a significantly better option than the Hell Regal. Um, I, I just, I think that, I, I think that those, those guns, if you need the faster time to kill, you want the Annihilator or the SMG-08. Um, if you need medium range, you should just use the Hell Regal or the 10A Slug or the Trench Carbine. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not bad, it's not bad. The, the 12 gauge cheesecake, do not, dude, the freaking trash shotgun, that's too funny, dude. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the, that's the ranking right now. I think notable omissions, yeah, someone earlier had mentioned the 1900, um, someone here had mentioned the, uh, 1900 slug, um, as an option. I think the 1900 slug is, um... It's good in small game modes, but I think that it, in terms of the way I had the categories, and I'll, I'll just pull back, I'll pull back one to show the categories. Um, in terms of the 1900 slug, I think that the, it would get, in terms of time to kill and damage, the 1900 slug would be a 10 out of 10, the same as the other 10A variants. Um, but for ease of use, it would suffer too much, I think. I think that in terms of ease of use, um, you can't really give it more than like, a three or a four because it's only two shots and you some if you don't if you don't hit them in the chest like you need both those shots to kill somebody even at point blank range um it does it does fire both those shots pretty fast but it's 
difficult enough to place those shots accurately with something like the you know with it with any of the other shotguns or even when you're using buckshot um uh i think the so it would suffer an ease of use and i think it would also suffer somewhat in versatility because even though the 1900 slug um it does have a one hit kill headshot pretty far out and it would have a two hit kill out to like 55 meters um it's just not very good for like operations or for killing if you're hitting dense clumps of enemies which is one of the things that assaults are expected to do and do well like that's one of the things you need to be able to do is that run and gun play style where you might have to fight three on one um the 1900 slug doesn't give you a chance to win those engagements um so i, I think it would suffer in versatility as well um so even though like the damage is good and it does have versatility in terms of like the engagement ranges you can do with the 1900 slug i think it suffers too much in the larger game modes to be a real like top tier contender um i think a good a skilled player can uh can use it well in certain certain game modes or certain situations but i think most guns are like that right uh i, I think if you are good with the 1900 slug uh you'd be even better with the with the 10a slug um, I think I would take the 10A slug in in pretty much every situation over the over the 1900 slug just because you have six bullets instead of instead of two, um, and you're often going to need you're often going to need more than two. Um, so, because I mean, even like I mean, well, let me give you an example. <laughs> my, with my, I I use the I, I use the SMLE carbine as on my scout class. I have like. Uh, I have 100 stars with it and or some way more than 100 stars i think i have like 70 something thousand kills with it and it, my accuracy with it is only like it's under 40 percent i mean it might be it might be around 35 percent but like probably 40 ish percent so you, and, and i mean you can go look at any good any player's accuracy um it's i think it's rare to be over 50 percent accuracy on any gun right and so if you're putting if you're using the 1900 slug um now granted you're using it point blank but man that bullet velocity is slow too so if you do have to hit medium range or long range shots with it it's harder to hit with than the smle is for me um so i i think that it's it's difficult to hit with at medium and long range so it does give you some versatility at those ranges for the assault class but like my point is just that your accuracy at that range is going to be pretty it's going to suffer from the low bullet velocity and so only giving yourself two shots makes it really difficult and i think drops the versatility of the 10a slug or, or the 1900 slug and that's why i i didn't list it as the top as in the top 10 um it obviously will eventually i'm going to probably do the tier i'll probably put the rest of the guns on this tier ranking at some point but um i think the 10a slug is legitimately like arguably I think the 10A slug is arguably meta for some of the smaller game modes, and it at least has good versatility. It's usable in operations, um, but I think that uh, I think that it's um, I think the 1900 slug doesn't quite get there um, because of the usability uh, problems. Um, Vin, any other guns that uh, that I missed that you think you like better on the assault class than any of the ones that are up there, comparison-wise? I mean, not particularly. You got mm -hmm. all the good shot, well, the most notable shotguns at least. And um, when it comes to the SMGs, uh, the rankings seem generally fine. I think you could honestly argue the defensive can go up to A tier as well, just because um, I feel like you're kind of like, yeah, it's an, like the defensive obviously is a much more, as the name suggests, a much more defensive play style. So you're going to mm -hmm. be bypotting around, locking down objectives rather than running around with the factory. So arguably right. in the defense, like in the idea that you're using the defensive as like a lockdown weapon, I think you could argue for A and A. Yeah. Obviously, I think it's inferior to most support guns in that kind of role of locking down an objective. So I guess you could. I guess you could. Um, uh, AKT, you're about right here. on the on the numbers. By the way, I'd have to look. Um, yeah, I think that's roughly right with what my with what my tiers kind of work out to on points. Um, obviously, like when I was making this, um, some of it's results oriented, right? Like some of it, like I'm doing the breakdown and I'm looking at the factors and I'm saying, well, wait, this gun, I think it's meta in on like these game types or these maps. So like it needs to end up 
A or B, but like I'm giving, I'm looking at objective factors for each rank, each part of the ranking I'm doing. Um, and so I, I think, I think you end up with, yeah, a pretty useful grading scale. Um, I think if you tried to get, uh, if you tried to get, you could try to get more objective with it and put and just pack it with more numbers. Um, but I think the results you would get wouldn't really be a holistic look at the way the guns are actually used in game, and and the fact that there's different game that you need to use them in, and different maps that really impact how those guns are played. Um, Ribby, yeah, cheesecake saying Ribby uh, or Ribby Royal in the in the chat. Um, let me back up one slide here to show the factors again. Um, yeah, yeah, it's all it's all subjective. Yeah, that's true. Um, I think the Ribby would suffer on time to kill. Uh, I can pull that stat right now, actually. Um, so the Ribby... Is it... Just start with an R. Ribby Royals. Factory. Yeah, Ribby time to kill point blank is 327 milliseconds. Um, yeah, the slug user's right. Um... At, at so if I go back to the let me go back to the 1917 trench or wait let's do this uh the 1917 trench carbine so if you uh so yeah um the ribby has a time to kill point blank of um 327 milliseconds and uh it does it does max out at a six hit kill um it has a four hit kill point blank um but at 327 milliseconds um at 327 uh milliseconds it's like in the same area as this trench carbine the trench carbine has significantly higher damage per shot um it's more accurate it has more bullets it has a faster reload um so like in the close range i think the trench carbine's probably better um and for long range i think it's also probably better unless you're bipoding with the ribby um so i think that the uh i think that the ribby um let's see i think the ribby um even though there's maybe an argument it should make the top 10, like I think it's a pretty versatile gun, and I think it is pretty easy to use. Um, I think that it for the things you want out of the Ribby, um, I would probably I would probably use the Trench Carbine instead, or you might use the Hellregal Defensive, you might use the 10A Slug. Um, yeah, I think MP18 is 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 pretty easy to use. I mean, it's automatic. It does have pretty. It is pretty accurate. Um, it is pretty high damage. But yeah, I think the time to kill would be the main problem on that. Um, so yeah, I think that's. Uh, that's yeah. It does have low recoil, and yeah, it's pretty good at medium range. But I just think I would. I just think I. I, I mean. Me personally, I would probably pick, I would probably pick the 10A slug or the or the trench carbine before that gun. But I think it's I think it's a little situational because yeah, if you um, if you can get the bipod deployed, uh, the ribby uh, is is a good option. Um, but I just think that it doesn't have the ammo capacity of the Hell Regal defensive. It doesn't have the ammo capacity of the trench carbine um it doesn't and, and and it doesn't have the same versatility that the 10a slug does like the 10a slug will hit a one hit headshot at 50 meters right um and the 10a slug will hit a two hit kill at 55 meters um at up to 55 meters so i think that the uh i think that it's um i don't know i just don't think the ribby does i don't think the ribby Oh, definitely the Ribby is more accurate at medium at medium range than the automatic cheesecake, but the time to kill is just too slow. 
um, is the only point. So I, I just don't think the Ribby does. It's pretty good at medium. It, it's pretty good at medium range and has pretty good versatility. But there's nothing that it does great, in my opinion. And there's no situation that I think it's great for. I mean, there's lots of situations where it's at least good, but um, I, I, I don't know that I would put it up here. Um, it, maybe it would get a maybe it would get a B or a C if I was looking at it again. Probably a C. Um, all right, I'm gonna pull up the game now. Um, let's see here. 